Swiss lace line. I think it looks really good. Um, it looks really nice. So this is clashing. I'm ready to take this kimono off and put on my outfit. I have this bodysuit. Bodysuit I'm gonna wear. Ooh. I have some green tights. These are supposed to be mesh tights. But these are looking kind of opaque. What's that about? These are not mesh. Okay. I have this green like robe and I have a mask. So yeah, let's put this on. Uh, oh Lord. Okay. Wait a minute. This is, <laughs> this is kind of tight. Hold on. Oh my God. Was there like a latch on this thing? Like, did I not look at it properly? Oh, oh, okay. I see what's happening here. Wow. So, <laughs> this is supposed to be all interesting. Okay. All right, I'm gonna have to make some amendments. So, I might have to make some adjustments. I really wanna wear these green tights though, because I think if I just pull them up, Up. Uh. So this is what the fit is looking like. The whole ass is out. Okay. This is not what I expected, but Yeah, I look very green. I thought the tights would be like more sheer, but they're not, but it's fine. I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna make it work because the hair is on and we just gonna do a do, okay? It's Halloween. It's just gonna have to work. All right, time to put on the clock. 
and all these things are from Amazon. Affiliate links will be in the description box in case, I don't know, maybe next year you want to be poison ivy. Or if you just want to purchase something from Amazon, use my links. There's no arms. I really just want to put my arms through here. Here, let me see what that's looking like if I tie it here. All right, oops. And it has a hood, look. So you see what I'm giving? Am I giving Poison Ivy vibes or not? <laughs> Let's not forget the mask. How are my lashes are gonna fit through this mask? My God, my lashes. Oh my, this mask is so cute, but it's not going to work with these lashes on. Oh my God, this mask. Okay. Y'all, this mask ain't going to work with these lashes. All right, so I came back in natural lining just to show you guys, but I have some leaves. So I'm thinking about putting some leaves in my hair and just pinning them in. So I'm about to just cut these leaves off and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so I started putting these leaves in my hair and uh, I don't know, I'm not really feeling it. Like if I was able to make this into a wreath or something, I might like it a little bit better. Um, I may find some time to do that. But yeah, I'm about to take these leaves out of my head. I'll figure out something else. But if you are curious, all I did was just um, attach the leaf here and then just pin it with the bobby pin. This is like my favorite lipstick. I try not to wear it a lot so it can be special, but I can't help it. I just love it. So, this is me. This, oh, this is my Poison Ivy look for Halloween. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. This get ready with me. It may not seem like it was a little trying. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing one of these again anytime soon, but at least you guys got to see the look. Yeah, so let's get into the details of this hair. This hair is by Zuri Sis, and her name is Toby. And I have Toby in the color red. Now Toby does come with your two combs in the front, a comb in the back with adjustable straps. The one thing I really like about Toby is the, um, the lace that's available in the front that makes this hairline look so good. As you saw in an earlier clip, there is probably like a good two inches of lace there in the front. And I think that's what helps it lay super flat. In general, this, this unit is laying flat. Like if you saw it on my mannequin, I was just like, wow. I really like the way this cap is constructed. So yeah, let's just get into the pros of Toby. First pro would definitely be this color because this is perfect for my Poison Ivy costume. It's a vibrant red. This is not something that I would be wearing every day or even on the weekend, but I think it's definitely great for cosplay without looking like a straight up cosplay wig. A lot of cosplay wigs look very wiggy and humpy and there's no parting space, but you have a wig like this that's it's a nice wig. It's just a bold color. If you're trying to step your cosplay game up and not be coming with these like helmet head wigs, I think this would be a good look for you. Also, if you just like the color red and you want to do something bold, get you this wig too. Another pro to this wig is the cap construction, as I already stated. This hairline is so nice. I think it blended in with my skin pretty well. I did have to cut very close to the hairline on the sides. I just didn't want to risk the lace showing on the sides. And of course, you already know my issues with my widow's peak, which isn't really showing right now, but um, I was messing around with it earlier. <laughs> I think it looks pretty fine now. I also really like the style of this wig. It's super cute, these curls, and I love the length. I think in a 1B color, this would be an amazing everyday wig. I tried another wig from this line called Glory. It's also like a royal Swiss lace wig. And same thing with Glory, she had that awesome hairline that I loved. It's just that Glory was longer. To me, Toby is like a shorter version of Glory. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments. Another pro to this wig is that it's big head friendly. I have this adjusted to the tightest setting and it was still pretty roomy for my medium sized head. So I feel like if you have a larger head, this should be great for you. Overall, I'm really feeling Toby. I originally wanted her in a 1B color, but once I saw that this red color was available and I knew that I wanted to do Poison Ivy, I was like, let me just go on and get this. 
I was really tempted to dark root her. However, I didn't because Poison Ivy does not have dark roots in her hair. But if you are curious about how to dark root your wig, I have a video on that as well. Make sure you check it out in the cards above. I actually dark rooted a yellow wig and I think it came out, came out super nice, but I don't think a lot of you saw it. Check it out and I'll also include it in my description box. But yeah, y'all, this is the final look for Poison Ivy. How are y'all feeling about it? How are you feeling about this get ready with me? I know I stated that I probably won't do this again for a while, but I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really feeling this wig, you guys. Go check it out in a natural color if the red is not your thing. Yeah, just check out this line. This line, I've seen five wigs so far. I saw them available on wig types, but I'm sure they're available on other sites as well. So the link I provide in the description box will link this to multiple sites. This is cute, you guys. <laughs> I feel good. Yeah. Damn it. I'm feeling a little too good. The damn lights went out. Okay, we're back. <laughs> okay, apparently I was feeling so good that the lights went out. Yeah, y'all. This is gonna be me. Ooh. Poison Ivy on the scene. Fighting crime. Oh wait, no, Poison Ivy's the villain. Oop. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling this. I'm really, really feeling this. Let me know how you feel about this look and this wig in the comments down below. Would you wear this for Halloween? Maybe next year because it's already Halloween. Let me know. Would you wear this wig in this color? Or maybe you would grab it in a different color. Drop a comment down below. You know I love when y'all talk to me. Oh my God, this video is a mess. And if you have not already, make sure you like this video, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I can't believe we are at 4,500 4, subscribers. Like when the hell, when did that happen? Is this real? We're on our way to 5K, y'all. So all of you who are new here, thanks for joining the family. And of course, if you've been with me, I appreciate you and I love you so much. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Uh, so I think